Well, it looks like I'm going to have to do a remake of a video that I thought would be just fine, but it appears as though it got blocked. You're looking at a still shot from a movie called uh, Custer of the West, and it's a free movie, and I showed a clip from it, and I think they're blocking it uh, not so much on copyright basis, but on the fact that it's just so powerfully true that it's frightening. So, I'm not going to show a clip from this movie. And that's how I started the original video that I did on this subject. But I will show you my channel. And there's the original uh, title of the video. The one in the top. George Armstrong Custer was a fake and Little Bighorn never happened. Now what happened to me was it says it got partially blocked on the basis of copyright. Well whether it was copyright or it was just so packed with truth um, <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. So I checked my channel and it wasn't showing up. This It should be here first but it's not okay so I'm going to try to do a remake it will not be as good as the original but the remake will at least communicate to you uh, the actual impact of the actor based reality so in our minds because of movies like this one and others and because of indoctrination in the educational system, we believe that a man by the name of George Custer <laughs> Glorious George Custer was out on patrol to try to rid the Western Plains of the American Indian and out on patrol he was confronted at a place called Little Bighorn and there at Little Bighorn General George Custer and all of his troopers were annihilated by American Indians. And so the public would be extremely empathetic because this hoax liar was a media figure celebrity back in his day. By that I mean he was in the newspapers a lot, he was in the magazines a lot, he had a following in the mass media of his day. And folks wanted to know what's going on out west with General Custer, George Armstrong. Okay? Now, I do a lot of research and in my research I find clues and I will show you those clues here in a minute but I'm going to show you the true identity of George Armstrong Custer. It's an actor by the name of Lawrence Barrett. Shakespearean actor. You can almost see it immediately, right? Especially the early photos of George Armstrong Custer and this curly hair, okay, in his early years. 
Now, Barrett was a Shakespearean actor. And Lawrence Barrett, who loved to put on costumes, will put on the costumes of none other than George Armstrong Custer. Here are these earlier photos of uh, Lawrence Barrett speak volumes showing you that you're basically looking at an actor playing the part of George Armstrong Custer. So let me go to the pick triive and that will help you Okay, George Armstrong Custer on the left, and Lawrence Barrett on the right. Now I did another thing, I slightly varied one of the photos, <laughs> and the pick triive goes bonkers if you, if you score a jackpot, if you, if you approach almost 100% it just kind of shuts down. So I'm going to show you where it kind of shut down on me. Right there. Okay, it comes up zero. And it came up zero because it was probably under 100%. Alright? You can actually see the hairstyle very similar. That little fuzzy curly hair in the earlier pictures of of George Armstrong Custer matches the little fuzzy curly hair of Lawrence Bartlett. So back to the better match where you can see the meter showing you. See look at the hair right over here. See on, on this side and look at the hair over here. <laughs> now I know hair is not the only thing but a Shakespearean actor by the name of Lawrence Barrett will play the role of George Armstrong Custer. Now what really sealed the deal for me was this documentary and I'm not going to show it because uh, my video was blocked on the basis of copyright <laughs> but I don't think it was copyright that blocked it. It might have been the title. This documentary called Custer's Last Stand, documentary on the life and death of General Custer. At about 58 minutes into it, the narrator will tell you that General George Custer had a wonderful friend, his closest friend. And guess who that closest friend was? A Shakespearean actor by the name of Lawrence Barrett. Now see, it's clues like that that jump out when I'm doing research. What do you mean his best friend? Why was Lawrence Barrett his best friend? It's because Lawrence Barrett was on stage with costumes and playing the uh, playing none other than George Armstrong Custer, the big dude at Little Big Horn. In other words, it's all a scam. All of it. Costumes.
costumes. Costumes. You love the hat and love the mustache. Okay? But it's just not other than the one who loves costumes in Shakespearean acting. Lawrence Barrett. Okay, so did it really happen, Little Bighorn? Well, if you know that Custer is a fake, what do you think about Little Bighorn? If you know the man on the left is a fake, General George Armstrong Custer, what do you think about Little Bighorn? I'm just going to end it right there, and I'd like to say thank you for watching, and this concludes the video.